All right. Well, my dad always said, Kirk, you bring the rain. And uh, it followed me all, all the way to Lynchburg, Virginia. It's raining out there, 65 degrees. Boy, am I glad I'm not camping. I can tell you that right now. It's, uh, this is the old builder. Man, did I get wet in this thing. It's time to retire this tent. I, maybe being in that hot garage did it in. I don't know. I seam sealed it. But uh, putting that aside, so I, I did a lot of homework, and uh, this is what I came up with. I am not, not going to be wet going back from Virginia to Florida. I mean, of course, we're going to be camping along the way. But uh, So I bought this. This is the best thing I could find. This is called the Alaskan Guide Model. Cabela's tent and uh, I just wanted to read a little bit about it because uh, we're gonna hey I figured out how to do time-lapse videos man I can't wait to get out in the yard I'm gonna put this sucker up and I'm gonna leave it out there until it rains cats and dogs and I'm gonna make sure this son of a gun is dry and that's a huge mistake I made on the on the trip up here you know you god look at all that preparation I did and I still was miserable on the trip so let's just uh, this thing thing's heavy you ain't never backpacking this tent but uh, it's a four-person tent I you know I'm that's why I bought this this was a two-person tent because you know when I went out with uh, my wife you know we, we would sleep in there it was perfect for two people and you could backpack it you're just not going to carry it eight ten miles like you you need to but uh, let's just read a little bit about this tent here ultra rugged four season tent field tested in alaska to withstand nature's most extreme conditions durable full coverage 75 denier polyester red stop rain fly with 2000 millimeter polyurethane waterproof coating sheds driving rain and snow um, abrasion resistant 200 denier polyester oxford bathtub style floor with extra thick 5000 millimeter rated coating multiple gear storage panels and pockets zippers throughout uh, 24 steel takes 16 tie downs a repair kit and a carry bag um, and then hey there's an optional floor liner sold separately i might get that i'll have to look into that but um so anyway, uh, I can't wait. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a time-lapse video of me putting this thing up. It's, it should be pretty cool. I've seen them. You know, I, I, I always wondered how people did that. And I was like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. So now I'm, you know, I'm playing with the video editing software. Uh, I'm still, still learning as I go. That's why I'm a video idiot. Okay, this is the video idiot's adventure. So uh, this is the latest addition to the camping stuff. Oh, man. That thing weighs 60 pounds. It better be sturdy and it better be dry. Um, and I'm sure it is. I, I, boy, I've seen some videos of this tent on YouTube and people out in just like hurricane force winds and uh, the tent just seems to hold up really well. So I, I didn't want a new tent. Uh, if this thing hadn't leaked, I would have been fine with that. But no more being wet. All right, that's it. All right, finally. Uh, you know, for, for every 15 hours of video that I take, I probably post 10, maybe 30 minutes up on the internet. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast. I cut a lot of it out. I, a lot of stupid things that I say, and I go, ooh, boy, I better cut that out. You know, political commentary. I, although I'm leaving some of it in, I'm going to get a little controversial. Uh, and and, and uh, probably by now you've seen some of the videos that are, are going to be controversial so this is kind of later in the video series so I did want to talk about this Cabela's tent that uh, that I'm working on you know I went out there and I was going to like you know have a video about putting up the tent for the first time and I wanted to describe a lot of steps that uh, people leave out in the videos that I watch I mean a lot of times they do these speed videos and they're going to put the tent up in 15 20 minutes and you just watch it and you're like Oh, you know, what the hell? And uh, so, you know, and then you're backing it up, backing it up. Anyway, I, I'm going to do a little bit better video. And uh, unfortunately, all the video that I put up uh, or made putting up the tent the first time, I'm going to be deleting that. But I did want to make this video because... You know, as I hike and do stuff, I'm, I'm making some Lynchburg videos. By the way, that's going to be a whole new series of videos. <clears throat> so, let's, I mean, let's, let's just kind of, and in my previous videos, let's look at this. I mean, this is a tent pig. I mean, this is a, 
this is a bayonet, man. I could I could stab somebody with this thing. But the quality of this tent is just incredible. And but the directions are the worst. I mean, I don't know what these companies are thinking about. I guess they're trying to they're saving a little bit of paper. Or maybe they just think that people are going to put YouTube videos up for how to do things. And, and I had a hard time finding YouTube videos. I did find one, and, but like I said, it's sped up. And so anyway, I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you how to put this tent up. So tent philosophy, okay? A lot of people say, well, you know, I got my RV. And uh, I guess if you watched my Florida videos on these uh, campgrounds, state forest campgrounds and whatnot, a lot of them are geared towards RVs and there's no privacy. They, they back them RVs in because they want the electrical and the water close together so that the people are packing in and you basically get your privacy in the RV uh, even though you're, you're 10 feet from the next RV. You might as well be in a townhouse for Christ's sake. And uh, so there's, you know, and a lot of them don't provide tent, uh, tent camping. Um, so what's the advantage of a tent? Well, you know, I got all I got is an SUV, and uh, you, you try. I mean, let's let's just take the great the great Smoky Mountains. Um, driving up there, man, if, if, to pull an RV up that mountain over these roads that are doing this number and that number and that number. I mean, my God, you'd have to have a two fifty F F one, you know. Uh, a Ford 250 to come up that mountain pickup truck. I mean, uh, the vehicle would run you what? Let's see. Let's just say forty-five thousand dollars, thirty-five thousand dollars, and then the RV is going to run you another. Uh, well, let's just say uh, fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Well, my tent, three hundred fifty dollars, and all I'm driving is a Kia uh, Sorento, and I can go right up that mountain and uh, put up my $350 tent. Now this tent will survive a hurricane. I guarantee it. I can, I can show you films of it. And what they did was they mod uh, modeled it after a molecule. You know, as, if you ever watch how electrons flow around the protons and the neutrons in an atom, that's exactly what they did with this tent. And that's what makes that, that, that atom binding it's so cohesive. Okay, so in a nuclear explosion, what we do is we break that atom apart. You know, a little bit of my scientific stuff here. And that's what produces all that energy is that atom breaking apart. Uh, in hydrogen bomb, nuclear bomb, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that tent is, is, is it's, 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 a, it's an atom put together in the way that they designed it. Um, so it's, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful, wonderful design for a tent. So, you know, I was pissed. <clears throat> I was pissed at this tent. <clears throat> this was the old Bibbler, 20 years old. Uh, now there's some seams in here that I'm gonna reseal when I get back to Florida. Um, but you know, this I think I, I was gonna I was gonna just give it away. I just I, I was done with it. I mean, once you get wet a couple times, you're like, screw this tent. You know, I don't want it anymore. But you know what? That's gonna be a good first night tent. I'm 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 a traveling camper. So let's say I get to my place of camp and uh, I'm just gonna be there uh, one night or I'm getting there late and I just need some place to sleep in, okay? This tent's perfect, man. I can throw this tent up in five minutes and, uh, and sleep in it that night and then the next day I'll put up the, the uh, Cabela's tent. Now the Cabela's tent, it only takes 20, 30, by, if you really wanna put it up right, I'm gonna say 30 to 45 minutes, <clears throat> all right? That's, that's kind of a long time to put up a tent, especially if you got bad weather on the horizon. So, you know, I, and, and man, I tell you, I'm just getting too involved with the tents. I got the backpacking tent, which is a one person tent, three, three pounds, and that's perfect for just getting out into the forest. And, uh, you know, even if you get bad weather, you're gonna get wet. I mean, no backpacking tent's gonna keep you totally dry in a, in a terrible storm. But it, the good thing it is about backpacking is you can put that tent on the side of a hill and all that water just flows right underneath you. Whereas in these campgrounds, you know, they, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They make you put your tent in places where you're just gonna, you're gonna get wet unless you got this Cabela's tent. And I'm telling you, I won't get wet in this thing ever. Now this tent here, once I seam seal it and everything, it'll do pretty good for one night, but it's not going to survive a major storm. And then I've got one more tent back home, which is a big eight person tent. And uh, I probably haven't used that in 15 years. And if I pull it out, it might just like fall to dust. Who knows? But uh, so 
but I mean, what am I into these tents for? I probably have spent maybe a thousand dollars over twenty, twenty-five year period to get all these these wonderful tents, and uh, you know, you buy a, a, a RV camper and you're out fifty thousand dollars, and and then when you go to sell it, you you may get it thirty thousand for it or whatever. So I'm just telling you, a lot of people say, well, tent camping is terrible. No, it's not, man. If you do it right, it's a great way to see the world and travel. And uh, and, and then I'm seeing now the value of having multiple tents. The backpacking tent, that goes up in five minutes. This this tent probably goes up maybe five, ten minutes, you know, uh, to stake it out, right, if I, if I was expecting some windy weather. But I wouldn't really be using this in windy weather if I, if I could avoid it. But, I mean, it's great for coming in at night. You know, I've got to throw something up and I don't want to stake it out. I can sleep in that. And then you got the Cabela's tent, which is bomb proof, man. You know, you got the major storm blowing in and you're like, holy moly, I got to have a place that I can ride out the storm. 30, 30, 35, 40 minutes, man. And you've got a tent that's just going to survive 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds and pouring down rain. That's the tent video. That's enough. <clears throat> Peace. All right, so today is tent day. Now, one of the things with these how-tos that I always see is they never show you the directions, so I thought you could pause it here and read the directions on how to set up the Cabela's Alaskan Guide tent. So this is what I'm getting ready to do in the backyard. I'm gonna be working. Let's get the next page. Now, I hope I'm not violating any rules here, but I assume you can download the directions on the internet so I can't see where I'm hurting anything. The next page. And so you could just pause it right here if you're watching the video and kind of see how to set the tent up. So <clears throat> with all that said, you know, as we know, I'm a video idiot. And uh, we figured a couple other things out and I'm getting pretty excited about it. Uh, you know, all that damn bleeping that kept taking place and I had, the, I had the phone on do not disturb and I guess that only counts for your texting and uh, maybe a phone call or two um, it does not block the apps I had one social media app on my phone I won't name it and every time somebody posted something it didn't have to be to me they just it would bing that's what the bing was going so I had to go in and, and through the advanced uh, uh, options uh, block or just cut that off because who wants notifications I don't give a crap when somebody posts something to social media that's, that's why I don't want these apps on my phone they're stupid they're just stupid this is, the tent, man. This is what we're gonna work on I'm gonna put it up about two or three times and then we're gonna do that speed video I've always wanted to do that and so and you know and that's the thing you know watching me put the tent up is it's not gonna teach you how to do it. that's where the directions came in but you know I am gonna you know kind of talk about what I what I run into, because this is my first time, and this is, you know, the, once again, the ground cover, but I don't think it's gonna really work that well underneath this tent. I think this is gonna be a bit bigger than my two-man tent, so uh, we'll see. But uh, I ain't making the mistake I made before. This is gonna sit out in my backyard until we get one hell of a rainstorm, because I'm here for a couple weeks, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it, just leave it up back there. And uh, I'm gonna check it every time it rains and see if there's a drop of water in this damn thing, because I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna be dry, and it's getting cold, man. It's like 65 degrees here. God, I mean, I can't believe that I sweat for three months getting ready for this trip. Oh, that's another thing that is uh, at Liberty, um, it's a mountain. And, and where I didn't get in shape, where I made the big mistake was hiking up and down uh, mountains, you know, or hills. Because in Florida, you know, everything was flat. And yeah, I was hiking a long ways in the heat, but I wasn't going up and down. And, I, and I've noticed, man, when I'm going up a big incline, my heart rate just goes way up and uh, it, it's tough on me. And um, that's why I had such a rough time uh, coming up here. So on the way back, you know, hopefully I'll be in a little better shape. For, uh, plus, you know, right now I, I went, you know, Lynchburg, I told you, I, I don't like it here. I, you know, I went to the bike trail and there was just, there was so many people and I'm trying to social distance and not get the virus. And so I'm feeling really unsafe on the, on the hiking trails, you know, nearby. But if you go over to Liberty and do the woods, man, there wasn't nobody there. It was just me and the trails and up and down and I was getting that heart rate up. So hopefully we'll be in better shape for the trip back to uh, Florida. That's it for now. Let's work on the tent. Yeah. We are in my mom's backyard and this is why we got the radio we got the rush limbaugh on woo -hoo, woo -hoo. anyway he um, 
you know, this is why I wanted a radio. I'm going to cut him off. I just wanted to <laughs> pretend, you know, this would be what you'd be doing if you were camping. You know, you're going to cut the radio on and you get something you want to listen to, whether it's rock and roll or rush them by or uh, left channel or whatever. And uh, so we're going to kind of look, you know, pretend that we're out for real and we're looking for a place to camp. Now, obviously, there's a low spot right here. Okay, we definitely wouldn't put the tent there. And this is kind of going way uphill. And you know, <laughs> even though that would be a great place to put it for rain, we don't want to put it there. So I'm just kind of kind of looking. And uh, looks to me like this is kind of a high spot right here. You know, it's not too, uh, too crazy. The water's gonna flow down that hill right under the tent and just kind of go right on out into the creek over here. So, uh, oh, hey, by the way, I wanted to talk about, you know, this is a video idiot, all right? That's what the whole uh, theme of this, this thing is. And, um, I, you know, I was going to use that video, um, uh, video studio. Well, it turns out their licensing sucks, man. They, they want uh, you to purchase one license per uh, computer. And I may have talked about this in previous videos, which I think is the stupidest licensing um, thing that you can possibly do. Um, so obviously I'm not going to use that software. I mean, I, I have been using it and I like it, but I, you know, I'm not going to pay $69 or $70 for each computer. I mean, you got to be able to use it. I mean, at home I have my server and, uh, I, and here I've got my laptop. So yeah, I'm going to be able to edit videos in multiple places. And so, yeah, w what am I going to do? Pay, uh, $300 for some shitty software. The, uh, DaVinci, DaVinci, uh, software you can get the free version, which is what I've got. Now, there's a huge learning curve there for me because uh, I'm a video idiot and um, I'm kind of watching YouTube videos, but unfortunately I get <laughs> too tired in the evening and I get, oh, geez, I can't watch anymore. I just, just, my brain just can't take anymore. So it's going to take some learning to, to learn how to use that video editing software. So that's uh, just check out DaVinci and then they, they have a paid product. And what's pretty cool is if you pay $300, you get the professional version and uh, they they haven't up that, you know, they, they don't put out upgrades and then you have to pay, you know, a year later for a, a $89 upgrade to the software or something. Once you pay that one fee, they've kept it the same. Now, I'm they got to make money. So I imagine eventually you're going to have to pay for an upgrade. But, uh, you know, I guess well here, just take a look at show you man i tell you my parents they bought a great piece of property here in lynchburg virginia you know it comes backs up right to the creek and uh just beautiful you know i you can sit out on the the back porch i don't want to get the house in there and you can just listen to that water roll by uh you know it's it's it really and, and this is why they want to stay in the house and i completely understand even though they bought those long-term care policies and never used them all right, so let's, let's get, I'm going to, oh, the first step, of, so we're going to take this step by step. The first step we're going to do is you got to stake out the tent. Now, I, I <laughs> funny, huh? I forgot to bring a damn hammer with me. Uh, so when I was putting the tent up, uh, especially in that uh, um, uh, National Park campground where, like I said, you know, I showed you the pad um, and you didn't have a choice of where you can put the tent and that's what you run into these damn campgrounds you know, They don't know squat, you know, you need to put it on a slight incline and those pads are usually perfectly level level or they turn into swimming pools and, uh, and That's how you get wet and so I, I wish people could put campgrounds in that knew anything about tent camping, but Anyway, so let's uh, let's get to work I'm gonna first you lay the tent down. That's what I was saying. You lay the tent down and you stake it out. So I'm gonna lay it all down and I'm gonna stake it out and then we'll continue from there. <laughs> 